growth learners, Mrs. Hopkins here. I'm here to kind of show you what our back to school will look like when you start here, boys and girls. Now that we're inside our school building, I want to help you to understand some new rules that we have for you so we can be safe learning together. The first rule, boys and girls, you're going to see is these beautiful signs throughout our school. And this sign says, wear your mask. Boys and girls, it's going to be very important that when you come onto school property that you have your mask on. Now, boys and girls, you will be expected to wear your mask throughout the school day. But don't worry, you will have several times throughout the school day to have a mask break. And a mask break means that you will be able to take off your mask in the classroom for 10 minutes while we're social distancing. And so boys and girls, that's gonna be a new rule that we will have at Ross Elementary. Can't wait to see you back here with us. Hello, Ross learners, Miss Katie here. We are so excited that we are gonna to get to see you soon here at school. A couple of reminders of things we do at school to be responsible, respectful, and safe. First of all, make sure you clean up after yourself at school, just like you do at home. For instance, if you have a coat or a book bag, make sure you put it in the spot where your teacher says to. Also, it's important if you are not feeling well to stay at home. Here's some more info from our nurse, Mrs. Hunsinger. Hi, I'm Ms. Hunsinger, the nurse. And uh, I'm gonna give you reasons on why you should stay home. Um, Actually, a, a parent would have to check your temperature every morning before you come to school. So if you have a fever that is greater than 100.4, also if you have a cough, um, shortness of breath, or you're having difficulty breathing, and um, if you have two or more of these other symptoms, like a sore throat, runny nose, chills, um, you can't have any uh, smell or taste when you eat something, you have muscle pain, uh, nausea or vomiting, or you have a headache or diarrhea. Those are all reasons to stay home. Parents and guardians, please remember that if your child has a sick day, to send in a note. One easy way that you can do that this year is to go to the district website, sdlancaster.org, type in Ross Elementary into the search, When you get to Ross's page, all you need to do is look for absence excuse. That will take you to a form that you can fill out and send directly to our secretary, Mrs. Ponce. You can also send a note on Class Dojo to Miss Katie. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. We are so excited that we are going to be welcoming you back into the hallways of Ross Elementary. It's very important that when you and your friends enter the building, you want to be socially distant. Now, you're going to be excited to see your friends, right? Oh, hi, Mrs. Sally! Hi, Mrs. Brunel! And what are some ways that you can say hello to your friends safely? You can wave to them, you can do an air fist bump, you can shake your hands in the air, you can squeeze yourself, right, and send a little hug to your friends like that. It's so great you're going to be excited to see each other, but you must social distance. So then we're going to go into the classroom as we're social distancing. Boys and girls, when you come into your classrooms, your teachers have worked so hard. They have worked so hard to make sure that your learning space has everything that you need, that you are socially distanced from your friends. Hi, Ms. Grinnell. It's so good to see you. Okay, so now when you are learning, there might be a chance that you have to cough or you have to sneeze. So what do you do? You do it into your elbow. So make sure that you social distance, that you're kind and respectful when you talk to your friends, that you have your mask on at all times, that you stay in your learning space, and when you sneeze or cough, one more time. You want to make sure you are respectful so that we can have a safe, awesome start to our school year back at Ross. We can't wait to see you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.
Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Gary, your school counselor. I like to show you about keeping hands and feet to yourself when you're in your classroom. So, Miss Gary is sitting with her hands folded and with her legs underneath of the desk. This is how you should be sitting when you're in class. Also, when you stand up and you're walking in the hallway, you should have your arms by your side and your feet together close to you, close to your body. As I walk, I still have my hands and my feet where they should be. It's really important to remember social distancing as well, so you should always be at least six feet apart from your classmates. Have a great day, and I can't wait to see you soon. Hi, boys and girls. So I wanted to talk to you about the importance of keeping your mask on. Every day when you come to school, you have to make sure that you have a clean mask on your face. Make sure that throughout the day, the mask stays on your face unless you have your scheduled mask break. When you have your scheduled mask break, it is very important that you are taking your mask off by using the strap with a loop, and then you can take it off this way. When you are done, you put your mask on by putting off, using those loops to put your mask on your face again. Remember that when you have your mask on, it is so important to not touch your mask or your face. I can't wait to see you when you come back.